Today, we're diving into a topic that hits close to home for many of us, the impact of covert narcissism on friendships. We've all been there, right? That friend who seems to have a one-way ticket to self-centeredville, making every conversation about them and their accomplishments. It's like trying to have a dialogue with a mirror sometimes. But how do you know if your friend's self-absorption crosses the line into toxic territory? Imagine you're sharing a personal success, and instead of celebrating with you, your friend subtly downplays it or swiftly redirects the spotlight back to themselves. Frustrating, right? Well, buckle up because today, we're unpacking the signs of covert narcissism in friendships and offering some tips on how to spot and avoid these toxic connections. Stick around because recognizing these red flags could save you from falling into the friendship trap. Let's get started. Signs of covert narcissism in friendships. You've just landed your dream job or aced a challenging project, and you're excited to share the news with your friend. Instead of celebrating your success, a covert narcissist might subtly shift the conversation to revolve around their own accomplishments. They could downplay your achievements or swiftly redirect the spotlight to their own feats. It's not that they don't care about your victories. It's just that their need for admiration can overshadow genuine moments of connection. Conversations become a stage for showcasing their triumphs rather than a platform for shared experiences. And it's not just about the big things. Even in everyday discussions, you might notice a consistent pattern of them steering the topic back to themselves. It's like trying to have a catch, but every time you throw the ball, it magically transforms into a story about their weekend escapades. You share an idea with your friend, something you're genuinely excited about. Instead of encouragement, you're met with subtle, undermining comments. It might be a dismissive remark or a suggestion that your idea isn't as great as you think. Covert narcissists have a knack for criticizing others behind their backs too. They might present themselves as supportive on the surface, but then engage in subtle gossip or negativity when you're not around. It's like navigating a maze where the walls are constructed from their judgment and your self-esteem starts to feel like it's on shaky ground. These individuals may not criticize overtly. It's more like a series of small, undermining jabs that leave you questioning yourself. Friendships should be spaces where ideas are nurtured and support flows freely. Ever had a friend who seems to believe they're on a higher plane of existence, whether intellectually or morally? That might be a red flag for a superiority complex, a hallmark of covert narcissism. Your friend consistently dismisses the opinions and achievements of others, considering themselves the ultimate authority on, well, everything. It's like being in the presence of a self-appointed expert, where your thoughts and experiences are often met with a subtle air of condescension. A covert narcissist with a superiority complex might not outright declare their brilliance, but it's woven into the fabric of their interactions. They may undermine the efforts of others, questioning the validity of different perspectives and ideas. It's a subtle form of intellectual or moral snobbery that can be quite damaging to the dynamics of a friendship. And it doesn't stop there. They might engage in a kind of selective hearing, nodding along when the conversation aligns with their worldview, but tuning out when someone else has something valuable to contribute. The end result. A friendship that feels more like a lecture than a two-way exchange of thoughts and feelings. Covert narcissists have a knack for rapidly switching between idealizing and devaluing others. At first, you might feel like the most important person in the world to them. Your achievements are celebrated, your opinions are revered, and you bask in the warmth of their admiration. But here's the twist. This idealization is often short-lived. The same person who once praised you might suddenly shift gears. You find yourself on the receiving end of devaluation, where they downplay your worth, question your decisions, or even criticize you without warning. It's like being on an emotional roller coaster, with highs of intense admiration followed by sudden drops into feelings of inadequacy. These rapid shifts in perception can leave you feeling confused, questioning whether you've done something wrong or if you've somehow fallen from grace in their eyes. Tips to recognize and avoid covert narcissists. Tip number one, trust your intuition. Have you ever had that nagging feeling that something just isn't quite right in a friendship? 
maybe a gut instinct telling you there's more beneath the surface. Well, it's time to trust that intuition of yours. Our instincts are powerful tools when it comes to recognizing covert narcissism in friendships. If something feels off, pay attention. Trust that inner voice guiding you. Friendships should be a source of joy, support, and genuine connection. So if you find yourself feeling uneasy, take a moment to reflect. Ask yourself why you might be feeling this way. It's not about being overly suspicious, but rather about acknowledging your emotions and being honest with yourself. Trusting your intuition is like having a built-in radar for toxic dynamics. Remember, it's okay to question and evaluate your relationships. Your intuition is your silent guardian, alerting you to potential red flags. So when it starts sending signals, don't dismiss them. Investigate, reflect, and make decisions that prioritize your well-being. After all, healthy friendships are built on trust, understanding, and a shared sense of connection. Tip number two, observe patterns of behavior. The next step in navigating the complexities of friendships with covert narcissists is observing patterns of behavior. It's like looking at the puzzle pieces over time to see the bigger picture. Take a step back and ask yourself, is there a consistent pattern of self-centeredness, a lack of empathy, or even manipulation in this friendship? Patterns often reveal more than isolated incidents. If your friend consistently redirects conversations to revolve around them, dismisses your feelings, or exhibits manipulative behaviors, it's time to take notice. Patterns can be subtle, so it's essential to observe over an extended period. Look beyond the surface and identify recurring themes in their actions. Do they consistently prioritize their needs over yours? Healthy friendships thrive on reciprocity, with mutual support and understanding. If you notice a consistent lack of balance, it may be an indication that the friendship isn't as healthy as it should be. Remember, patterns speak louder than isolated incidents. As you observe and reflect, you'll gain a clearer understanding of the dynamics at play. Tip number three, evaluate reciprocity. In this crucial step, take a moment to assess the balance in your friendship. True friendships thrive on mutual support and understanding. Ask yourself if your needs and feelings are consistently overlooked. Healthy relationships are a two-way street where both parties contribute and benefit. If you find that your friend is consistently indifferent to your concerns, aspirations, or challenges, it might be a red flag. Reciprocity goes beyond just the big moments. It's about the day-to-day -day interactions. Reflect on whether your friend is there for you in both good times and bad. Consider if the support and care you provide are reciprocated. It's not about keeping score, but rather ensuring that both individuals feel valued and heard in the friendship. Evaluate whether your friend is genuinely interested in your well-being or if conversations always circle back to their own experiences. While it's normal for friends to share personal stories, a healthy balance is key. If the friendship feels one-sided, where your friend's needs consistently take precedence over yours, it's time to reevaluate the dynamics. Remember, the essence of a strong and lasting friendship lies in the equal give and take. It's not about perfection, but recognizing when the scales are consistently tipped in one direction. Trust your instincts and feelings during this evaluation. They often provide valuable insights into the health of your relationship. Tip number four, educate yourself. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to navigating the intricate world of personalities. Now that we've discussed trusting your intuition, let's dive into another essential aspect of dealing with covert narcissism in friendships. Educating yourself. Understanding narcissistic personality traits can be a game changer. It's like equipping yourself with a manual to decipher behaviors and recognize the subtle signs. Arm yourself with knowledge about the characteristics of covert narcissism, such as their tendencies to manipulate, lack empathy, or consistently seek validation. By educating yourself, you gain clarity. It's not about becoming an expert psychologist, but rather about having a basic understanding of what you might be dealing with. This awareness can help you avoid falling into the traps set by covert narcissists, allowing you to navigate friendships with a discerning eye. Knowledge also empowers you to set boundaries and make informed decisions, 
when you can identify manipulative tactics or self-centered patterns, you're better equipped to protect your well-being. So dive into resources, articles, or books that shed light on narcissistic traits. Equip yourself with the knowledge to distinguish between healthy and toxic dynamics, empowering you to foster relationships that contribute positively to your life. Tip number five, avoid confrontation. Navigating friendships impacted by covert narcissism requires a delicate touch, and sometimes, confrontation may not be the most productive path. In this section, we'll explore the wisdom behind avoiding direct confrontation with narcissistic individuals. Confronting a covert narcissist can often lead to a defensive response, or in some cases, increased manipulation. Remember, these individuals are skilled in redirecting blame and avoiding accountability. Instead of engaging in a direct confrontation that might escalate tensions, consider an alternative approach, creating distance. Creating distance doesn't necessarily mean cutting ties abruptly. It's about establishing boundaries that protect your emotional well-being. By minimizing your emotional investment, you take a step back to reassess the friendship objectively. This distance allows you to observe the dynamics without being ensnared in the emotional turmoil that often accompanies confrontations with narcissistic individuals. It's essential to recognize when a relationship becomes draining or harmful. In such instances, preserving your mental and emotional health takes precedence. Choosing to distance yourself doesn't imply weakness, rather, it demonstrates strength and self-preservation. Recognizing toxic dynamics is not about pointing fingers or assigning blame. It's about safeguarding your well-being. Friendships should uplift, support, and bring joy. If you've identified signs of covert narcissism, it's okay to step back and reassess. Your mental and emotional health deserve the utmost priority. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of covert narcissism and friendships. If you found these insights helpful, consider subscribing for more content on navigating life's complexities. Here's to cultivating relationships that contribute positively to your journey. Until next time, take care and prioritize your well-being.